What up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Mr. Smash Every Blazing Record, and I am back with another episode of the Sit Down Show. Not sure what episode this is. I know we're somewhere in like season four or five or something like that. But joining me today for the second time, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people real quick. What's good? What's good, Josh? It's Diesel Triton again, back at it again with my boy on the sit down show. We're going to go ahead and get it live and get it cracking. We'll All talk right. about some things that's going on. All right. So the reason the homie Diesel Train is here today is because he's working on some new music. He's got a new project. So you want to go ahead and talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, man. I got a, I got a tape coming out this month, man. It's called It Is What It Is, man. Diesel Train. You know, <laughs> want to go ahead and get it live, man. It's been long overweighted. I've been supposed to drop the tape for about two, two and a half years now. I definitely got to do it, man, before the year. Let people know what's up. All right. And uh, do you know about how many tracks is going to be featured on that uh, mixtape? I want to say 13 or 14, but I got so many songs, it's like, I don't know what like the what all to put on there, but I'll figure it out. It'll come out soon. I just want to get it to where the tape will sound good. You can press play and let the whole thing ride instead of like skipping. You know what I mean? Right. So I want it to be like that type of tape where, damn man, every song went hard. You know? Yes, sir. And uh, when you release it, what platforms are you gonna release on? You know? December twenty sixth, man. If everything goes right, if everything goes right. That's the date. Um, it's going to be on everything. Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Play, Tidal, Amsterdam, Audio Mac. You know, I even, I'm going to even put it on SoundCloud for the people that be on there bumping it. So, you doing yeah. um, physical copies as well? I'm thinking about it. Maybe not this one or the next one I'm going to do, but the ones after that, yeah. Okay, and uh, with your permission, we actually have the cover for that that tape. So if you want to, we can go ahead and show that to the people right here. I know you actually debuted that on your Facebook yesterday, but we'll go ahead and show that to the people. So there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. The new uh, cover art for the tape, it is what it is. The homie Diesel Train, like you said, that's going to be dropping soon on all those platforms. So y'all guys, go make sure that y'all cop that when it is available. Now, you told me just a little bit ago b before the show that you were on your way to the studio after you get off work or whatever. So, um, we're, or matter of fact, before we get to that question, um, any of the songs that are gonna be featured on this tape, are you doing any music videos uh, for those? Oh yeah, we got about three to four songs in the midst to get videos done to them. It's gonna be nice. You got, nice. Uh, a lot of features on this tape. Who are some of the guys that are featuring on, on here with yeah, you? Yeah, I got a, quite a few, man. I got, uh, if I get the song done with my boy, Justin Nixon, hopefully. If not, they go on the next one. But he might be on there for sure. Uh, Kimo Gotti, he's going to be on there. Um, who else is going to be in there? Uh, my, my cousin, E-Dub. Um, who else is going to be featured on the tape? Um, oh, and my cousin, my little cousin Sylvia, she's going to do some singing on it. So that's really about it that I can name off the top of the head because the rest of the songs that I've done. Oh, one more person, man. My boy Ebo out of Odessa, Texas. He's going to be on it too. So Okay. Well, shout out to all those artists doing their thing, working together, networking, you know, making the music scene what it is. Um, I know the 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 like show scene and stuff has been pretty much out of the question but you guys actually did a show not too long ago at the uh i don't i don't know if you were there at that show with uh um the homie dope dylan and uh and chronos over in texas at uh oh and amarillo there was yeah, an amarillo zombies is that is that what it's called yeah so, yeah you... i was supposed to go but i didn't i didn't oh. end up going dang my, my uh my car window messed up and that was in the show we did in big spring it uh, messed up so it still didn't get fit so i didn't be able to, i didn't be able to make that drive but i do got a lot coming up next year if everything goes right the money situation is right 
it's a lot of shows that's about to start happening. It's freaking yeah. crazy. Well, um, I'm planning to do some more myself. I actually, I had already got a permit from the city to do a show like at the park and stuff like that. But with the social distancing rules and stuff like that, I didn't really ever try to put nothing together. But if I could get something going, I definitely want to have you come down here and hit the stage for us. You gotta, you gotta feel what it's like to be in front of them, uh, them flamethrowers I got, bro, because them shits, like, they amplify the performance, but at the same time, you be feeling the heat, and, like, you be, it, because, like, usually when, uh, yeah. when people are performing, I'm the one operating them, but then when, sometimes whenever I'm performing, Dope Dylan, he'll go and try to operate them, but he be, like, freaking just flicking them shit, so <laughs> he almost done freaking set me on fire, like, bro, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah, so, but, <laughs> Yeah, man, it it'll be a whole thing, bro. We'll we'll make sure we take care of you and stuff like that. Make sure your set is nice. Make sure we got video footage and all that good stuff. Yeah. I'm hopefully getting ready to get some new equipment and stuff here pretty soon. So you know, I'm gonna okay. upgrade and try to upgrade the the this show and all the other uh, shows that I put together and stuff like that. Just make everything better right. for you guys. So also, right. um. I mean, for a small fee, it wouldn't really even be that much, but if for a small fee, we could actually take your tape and put it directly on my UTV app if you would be interested in that. It would be a place where they would be able to just go and they could actually uh, download them from there, which I don't think you want people to download, but um, they would be able to download the song, stream them, and all that good stuff. So it would just help okay. bring more of an audience towards my app, but also just give your music a place to rest and have... You know, oh, yeah. more listeners you do that. because honestly my my uh app it gets seen by people from like a lot of different countries uganda africa or like all these different countries if i could pull up the statistics you'd be like dang like there'd be areas of of the world where you wouldn't even think people have cell phones but yet they have downloaded my app and stuff so you know it's just a place okay. for your for your music to get I'm out a, there to a, yeah. a larger audience we can do that. I'll get with you soon on, on about that, and we can figure out the fee or whatever and get that to you. Yeah, it ain't Cash never nothing too big, and everything goes directly to what it's supposed to. Ain't nothing trying to fill my pockets. I don't make anything off of this. Even my app itself, I don't even get paid to host it, or I don't have ads or anything like that. So everything I do, I'm doing out of pocket, and I ain't even making anything back. So it's all for you guys just to help y'all out, you know, give them more of a exposure to, a, you know, people around the world. But... That's for another day, another topic. Good looking out. Yeah, no doubt, man. So, uh, anything else you want to tell us about this album? Because I know you're actually supposed to be getting ready to go to work, or maybe you're already on your break. Anything else you want to yeah. say about this um, before we get up out of here, or anything you want to shout out? Any people you want to, you know? Uh... Right. Well, well, first and foremost, man, you know, all the hard work and dedication that I've done, I just hope people really, you know, like it not just because who i am they like it because it's good music and second of all like i you know of course i want to thank the man above you know what i'm saying um i want to thank i want to thank you for oh. putting me on the show for the support since we met my you know what i'm Alrighty. saying my moms my uh my grandma and them uh, my family and my boy t money for because he was the one that got me into it so t money uh, Fonzie, of course, uh, my boy Track, Trouble Low, and um, I know I'm missing out a lot of people, but everybody that was a feature on my tape, and uh, man, just just thank everybody that was supporting me too. So I'm just trying to put put the put the map on, man. I'm just trying to put the mess on the map, and it ain't going It's I'm a piece of the puzzle, but it's gonna take a lot of us to do it, but we're gonna get it done. You feel me? Heck yeah, I hear that. Now, uh, speaking of Trouble Oak, I know he's somebody who makes instrumentals and stuff like that. So, did he make any of the beats for your, uh, for this tape you got coming out? No, we never really got to talk about that because every time we did, it just wasn't the right time. But I told Oak, like, hey, like, my next tape or my tape after this. I'm going to definitely, definitely get some uh, beats from them. So, yeah, because that's with me, man. I'm just trying to work with everybody and try to get this stuff going because I got so much stuff planned for next year with this music. I just hope it goes well, you know? Yeah, I hear you. And I need you on the feature, too. 
I'm, I'm with it, bro. Like, if I could get in my zone, you know, I just got to be in the right mode to do it. But if I get in my zone, I'm with it, bro. Because, like, I'd actually be sitting here wanting to make some new music, especially on my days off and stuff, because I ain't doing shit. But it just, I got to be in that right mode, that right zone, because most of the time I just be freestyling. So I just grab the mic, hit record, freestyle some shit, and, you know, mix it up or whatever. But, you know. Well, we gonna work on something for sure. Matter of fact, the track that we are already sent out to you, hopefully you could get that uh that cipher track with the homie Dylan. Hopefully we could get that uh that going for his tape. Got you, got you. Yeah. I got a verse to that written too. Ooh. All right, Weep. I can't wait oh, to hear it, man. Honestly, Ooh. before what I what I want to tell you is you probably like when you do record it, just um just probably save your um mix like your vocals because i think i'm gonna have to go back and redo my shit or like remix it because dude he didn't really i don't know if you really listen to it like that but my shit uh like the audio kind of goes lower a little bit towards the end and then i also think that he said that he re-spit his shit and he needed to go back and uh put the original one on so we just gonna have to remix everything but just make sure you like get your vocals or whatever your master vocals and then you can just like add them back whenever we uh when we redo redo all this shit okay if that That's makes fine, any sense bro. yeah yeah i got you we, we can do that we can do that we definitely if you could shoot if you could try to make your way out here one day bro we need to hit a studio session here at my house bro that'll get me in the zone like i need other people in the in the mix with me to help me like get inspired like i used to i got you bro hey let me uh give me some give me a little time, man. I'll be up there because a freaking who was hitting me up the other day. Uh, Angie was hitting me up too. She was like, "You need to come out here and yeah. come do some music with me." And yeah, I'm really. like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "My boy Granny out there, I can go fuck with him too." Yeah, so I, I need like, to try to make my way out there. Honestly, bro, I ain't never really been out that way, and I always wanted to go hit some of them little clubs like the Armin Lills and. Uh, all the little spots out there that uh, Dope Dylan be hitting and shit. So I'm going to yeah. try to make my way out there sometime pretty soon. Man, that'd be dope, man. Especially you come out here and get, like, some footage and stuff from all yeah. the local artists that be coming out here performing. I want to get in one of y'all videos and one of y'all music videos. But I just got to be looking right. I mean, when we did that music video at Dope Dylan shit, uh, I, wasn't even, <laughs> I wasn't even dressed the part, bro, or looking the part. So I was like, nah, bro, I don't really want to be in this. But let me get right, and I, I'll feature in one of y'all videos or something, make a little cameo. Shit, I got you, man. Say no more. That's what we're here for, man. We all here to build each other. Shit, I'm glad you said something. So, hey, let's, um, I can figure out what video that I'm going to do, and I can slot that way and get a couple of scenes out there, especially with you in it, because I know up there they got the college and stuff. So I can yeah. go up there and get like a couple on a college and stuff like that so yeah we get we have hey, i'm all about it man all right all we'll, about it. we'll wear something out, bro. but anyways um any last words you want to say to the people i mean uh i know this interview ran a little short but i didn't want to really hold you up too long so anything else you want to say we actually gonna gonna show that uh cover one more time for the people there it is it'll be uh released what day you say uh 26 26 of december all right. Oh, so the day after Christmas. That's a uh, y'all go ahead and cop that, man. Pre-order if if there's gonna be pre-order links. Hopefully y'all could do that so that way you guys can have an early Christmas present, uh, courtesy of the homie Diesel Train over here. I know it's gonna be fire. Uh, we old, baby. We old. But hey, one thing before I do get up out of here, man. I gotta go back and making this paper. Oh, appreciate you again for the opportunity. For bringing me on the show, we're gonna definitely be doing more and getting this mug out here more, so people can know who the hell you are because you got too much damn talent to be in goddamn pajamas doing yeah. this. Hey. Now, your mind is screw up here, bro. And yeah. It's real shit. We're gonna get this shit going, man. So I appreciate you for the support and everything, man. I appreciate everybody for the support. This been supporting me from day one, man. And it, it's on. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it don't stop after this tape come out. Own it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm make sure that we out here and you're going to be, hey, and I'm telling you this now, mark this right now. When I go touring and shit and I get this shit popping, my nigga, you right there in the back. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got the cameras and shit. We're going to get you off. Like I said, I'm about to uh, upgrade my equipment and stuff like that, make it 
hopefully a little bit more legit for you guys. And we're going to make it happen, bro. Shit, we're going to make something happen. Oh, All right, let's... everything, man. All right, man. Well, it was good to catch up with you. Um, I actually haven't done an episode of the Sit Down Show in a while. Um, honestly, bro, like, I think I told you this before, but whenever I begin on camera, bro, I get, like, the worst anxiety. I don't know why, because I've done probably 100 episodes of the show, and for some reason, like, I get the worst anxiety. I get the sweating and all kind of stuff, so I kind of be a little nervous. It, it's kind of like I'm meeting a celebrity or something, and I don't want to say something wrong or piss them off or something like that. So, uh, sorry, you know, if, if things weren't, you know, up to, to the best standards of what an interview could have been, but, um, you know, we're always willing to have you back on the show. We're going to catch up with you more anyways. You already know that, um, we're going to work on some new stuff. Hopefully we can get some original shows or something like that created with just me and you, or, you know, bring, bring some of the homies along and we could do some, man. Like, I really want to work with y'all guys and, and try to get something going that's gonna pop like get some even that we could put on like a local pbs network or something like that it don't even matter bro like we got to do something we do we got too much talent and to the brains to not to do it you feel me so hey we so will does your um does your producer like do you ever make any uh edited songs or do you just not curse in your music well man um at first, man, I wasn't gonna cuss at all. You feel me? Like I, I was that rapper, where I was that person where like, oh, I'm not gonna cuss. I'm gonna do this and do that. But I, I opened up more to myself, man, because it's like I was trying to be somebody that I wouldn't. Like I was trying to be what the people wanted me to be. I'm yeah. like, no, I just need to be who I need to be. If I cuss in my shit, if I say shit, that that you know what I'm saying that it is what it is. But yeah, you know, I definitely made you know, edit songs. That way, if I do shoot videos and stuff, that, you know, I can do that. But all my songs don't cuss. Like, yeah. they really don't. I, I don't, I'm not that rapper that's going, fuck this, fuck that, you bitch, you bitch. No, I'm not that. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? If I do cuss, this is going to be moderate because I have to, you know, put it in the right place, the right time. But, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get that going, too, and talk the track about it and stuff and get that going. Yeah, so the reason I mentioned that is because, like, just radio play, that's, you know, where, where it's at. That's how you really – I mean, not a lot of I, – I personally don't really listen to the radio, but if a homie hit me up and was like, yo, y'all tune into the station at such and such o'clock, I got a track playing, I'm going to tune in, you know. But, like, I say that because I've even had songs played on the radio station here, out here in Portales. It wasn't very hard to do, and I didn't have to pay nothing at the time, which I think the DJ was just a hook – she was just a homie – and hook me up or whatever but you know like okay. i mean i could probably help you out with that if you're looking to get some some fm radio play and stuff like that or even if i bring back my uh my internet radio show hashtag the pmc ent show of course i you know be willing to give you some airplay on there and stuff like that so but i mean on that show on my show you don't have to have clean music but as far as you know fm standards you gotta have radio edit music and stuff like that but i'd be willing to try to help you get get some of that going and stuff like that and just try to help this shit take off man let's do it all right man let's let's get it man i'm all finna get back at it man so right, hit man. me up g and we appreciate it again found for your time man because that's something that we can't get back so i appreciate every minute every second that we get you giving me bro i appreciate that all right no doubt well that's the homie diesel train i'm gonna just go ahead and show this logo one more time that's the homie Diesel Train. Y'all go check out that new uh, tape whenever it releases on the 26th. Um, my name is Mr. Smash Every Blazing Record, better known as G-Loke. And that's going to do it for this episode of the Sit Down Show. Y'all guys have a great day.